province that is called Buenos Aires II and is part of the 23 provinces that has this country, Argentina. Okay,是。这叫做布宜诺斯爱丽斯港。那整个总共有九公里，并且从呃东北方一直呃到东南方，都是这个港口的腹地。那布宜诺斯呃爱丽斯呢，就如各位所知，是一个呃非常大的城市
in the 70s, in the 80s. And then we have a very, very big Chinese community that live in Buenos Aires since uh, from the 19, 90 decade, 这边有非常多的华人居住在这里，从一九九零年开始就有非常多的华人居住在这里，从一九九零年开始就有非常多的华人居住在这里，从一九九零年开始就有非常多的华人居住在这里，从一九九零年开始就有非常多的华人居住在
Sardinia Island. So when the Spanish people come here, they modify the name and put San, the city of Santa Maria from Buen Aire, Buen Aire, Buenos Aires. These three changes, Buenos Aires. But the second one was the real city foundation in 1580 with Juan de Garay and the Spanish group and the men that escorted the group. Ya with one drink. They like with a very European style. So the traditional style is very European. And our language, of course, is Spanish. Portenio,他们有几个特点,首先就是他们非常喜欢夜生活,并且他们喜欢住在欧洲风格的房子里边,非常享受在户外的咖啡厅,点一杯咖啡,然后很多的其实生活行为啊,然后喜欢的风格也
个非常重要的纪念碑，这个纪念碑的名字叫做 a m n e s c o 它是在一九三六年建的。那这个一九三六年的年年份呢，也就是在一五一六年西班牙人第一次抵达之后，这个四百年之后建成了这个纪念碑。那这个呃，这个 o b l i s c o 的名字又叫方尖碑。方尖，方尖。The height of this obelisk it has 67 meters, and we copy from the Washington Capitolian obelisk that has 150. Here we are now in the downtown. The may the avenue that cross this nine of July is called Corrientes. Corrientes Avenue. Both sides, at your right and at your left, we can find along this Corrientes Avenue with different theaters, restaurants, pizza bars, in popular style, so that you can enjoy the nightlife taking this street, Corrientes Avenue. 那这个方尖碑呢，它高总共有六十七公尺。那它其实有很多概念，就是参考美国华盛顿那个非常有名的纪念碑。不过呢，在美国华盛顿的纪念碑是一百五十公尺高。现在我们所在的这个地方就是市中心。那呃，现在巴士转弯呢，我们就到了。Korean t e s t i n 这个大道，这个大道呢，跟七月九日大道刚好就成一个十字形。那这个 Korean t e s t i n 的大道呢，我们可以看一下街道左右两边啊，有非常多的剧场啊、餐厅、披萨啊、酒吧等等，也非常是呃，也非常多的这种欧式风格的建筑物，也很适合享受夜生活。Now we will take. One diagonal. We have two diagonals. The way of this avenue that we take now, in front, that reach to the main historical point that is called Plaza de Mayo, May Square. 好的，那我们现在其实呢是在一个 Y 字形的岔路，那我们要从我们现在巴士走上的这一条呢，会通到一个非常具历史性的景点，这个景点就是五月广场。Well, so we are going to see very important public buildings. So we are going to drop off in one point, and I will show you where is the meet will be where will be the meeting point, and I will say at what time. Okay, today ten thousand people. For this epidemic, 
我们现在在的这个街区呢，叫做 s a n t e r m o 那这这个街带呢，是布宜诺斯艾利斯最老的一个社区。那其实这边以前有非常多呃，就是社社经地位比较高的家庭在这里居住。但是呢，一八七一年的时候，这里流行一种黄热病。然后，所以说非常多这种呃比较有有钱的家庭呢，他们就逃到了北部。那当时呢，这个黄热病造成了一万人左右死亡。This is a Spanish district that the oldest style in colonial times, and、uh, this is a connection to the next stop. That is Well, the the area of tango is this one. We will come back to see the tango show in San Telmo. So one of the favorite places for the tango music that we will have this tonight, the show. So look at the buildings at your left side, the ministries for the main industry, corn, soybean industry, and cow frozen beef. In each corner, you can feel the sense. Of the Spanish colonial time. Buenos Aires 呢是夜生活非常蓬勃茂盛的一个地区。No, because Pampas has trees only plants, but in 1891 the government decided bringing a lot of trees from other areas, also inclusive. The, from Brazil, from Paraguay, and from uh, Uruguay. Pampas is here. Pampas has a trees, only plants. The Pampas area that we are going. We are running in this place. We, we have a very important man, a Irish man, that lived in Buenos Aires. His name was William Brown. He was an Irish Almirant that took care for our riverside at the beginning of the 19th century. He lives. In a yellow house, he paid with a yellow collar. He is mainly responsible for the river maintenance and management. He made a huge contribution. This William Brown, he was a landlord. His house was white. Later, to remember him, the Royal Navy has a yellow collar. He is a yellow collar. 海军博物馆呢，呃，又有黄色房子之称，就是我们现在右手边这一栋建筑物。A boca and is a popular sport, the soccer, the football, and we are going to see the one of the famous soccer stadium that is has Buenos Aires. It's a favorite popular sport. 足球非常的盛行，受到大家的喜爱，并且呢，我们也通过呃，会通过体育场，足球在这边是一个非常盛行的活动。啊、呃，那我们有机会的话，可以可以拍一个全景的照片，包揽这包揽这个呃体育场的样子。两年前呢，他他有在北京呃比过比赛，他的名字叫做 Carlos Tevez。Look at that, you're right. The soccer stadium, fifty-five thousand people, it's capacity. The other classic、uh, soccer stadium is River Plate. The classic game is between Boca and River. Very famous. These two soccer stadium and teams. 
River Plate and Boca Juniors. River Clay Stadium 那这个地方叫做 Boca Junior 要去的这两个非常有名的观光景点 叫做Camito 那这个Camito 它既是一条路也是一个区域 Always with you That is a very would be, would be a very good idea So uh, the, the next stop will be besides Caminito Street. Caminito that means little road, just 100 meters. And so there is a shopping center, commercial center, with restaurants, toilets, and souvenirs. They take, they're very important that you know, one dollar, one American dollar, is 37 pesos. Around 37, 38. So then, if you like to pay with a credit card, you can do it. Now,
我們現在就要去中餐的餐廳那現在想問一下有沒有哪一位乘客是有食物過敏或者是有特殊的飲食需求麻煩幫我舉個手好嗎你舉手之後我們會過去跟您問一下詳細的細節謝謝这边呢其实原本是港口废弃的一部分那后来呢有一个国际的公司把这个土地买了下来当时它用的价钱大概是每平方公里一千三百美金买下来然后后来呢就是这一片地区呢变得非常的美然后也有现代化因此呢现在已
live in, park their cars and uh, just uh, you can see in some parts of Buenos Aires, including this Puerto Madero district, they carry around 10 or 12 dogs together. It's picking in each apartment.这个街区才二十九年建成而已，啊，所以说呢，这边很多的建筑呀、公寓都是非常现代气派风格的。So this area is the river and the people that live in Puerto Madero. So the next year. 这些停车都是有警察保安在管理的。这是这里的地方。这是这里的地方。这是这里的地方。这是这里的地方。这是这里的地方。这是这里的地方。这是这里的地方。这是这里的地方。这是这里的地方。这是这里的地方。这是这里
where we are now in this city. We will take one street very wide and then that connected from here till the northeast to the very important district that I told you, Recoleta and Palermo. Just turning at your right, we will turn. And then you can see the other buildings that are part for this kind of black color over our right side. And now here we are again in this district that we start, Retiro District. After these buildings that you can see, we will reach to the famous monumental tower that we saw at the first moment. Remember that in front of the railway station, that is where is in front of us the that here we have the tower the monumental tower now can you see in this square at your right and here in front we start with the name which is the name of this street or avenue very wide that is called the next corner is called Libertador the man that got the liberty the independence Libertador Liberatore Nautica,它的名字跟自由以及独立非常的相关,并且这条大道能有27公里之长,连接这个城市的西北部。Look at the different kinds of styles that you can you can see over the left side. Modern combined with the old styles in the way that we will reach to those beautiful places in center of the city using the famous avenue that we took before, the famous 9 of July, July the 9. Look at the running over the left is at the end of the highway connecting with the 9 of July. 前方这一条高速公路呢，它会把这个城市的中心以及这个城市的西北部给连接起来，呃，并且呢，左手边会连到我们今天早上经过的七月九日大道。So look at this style that is changing, walking because in the past, look at this house. In the past, we have no trees, so that the reason that the galleries. 建筑物底下都有一个类似骑楼的地方，可以让行人行走。这是因为在以前呢，这一带完全没有树木，为了遮蔽，所以说这个建筑这些建筑有这样的设计。Here we are is around the area that when us recollect the heart, we will be we we to be seen. 左边的话呢，就是表示说我们已经快要进到Recoleta区域。Look at your right. This is a new university. It's a public one with a neoclassic style. It's very expensive. People use the public style. And at your right too, after this university in the next corner, at your right, you are going to see a flower at your right in front that is, it was uh, built with different kinds of metal by an Argentinian designer, Mr. Catalano. Just introduced you in the area with gardens, parks, and flowers. That is called Palermo District. Uh, 
前呢，学费是免费的，相对来讲呢，这里的私立大学学费非常的昂贵。那我们现在再看一次右手边，现在右手边呃经经过的呢，这个是呃阿根廷他们运用金属材质所建造的。那这边里面是一个呃花园，那这样子会会建造这样子一个呃大型的装置艺术呢，是为了纪念卡特勒诺先生。So we we use the bikes, walking, several sports. They can do in Palermo Gardens, and so that you can enjoy just spending hours in their free time. That was the old Palermo. Is the old part of Palermo, far from here, three kilometers. That the owners of each big house they sell out. To the very important families that like using this those of uh, uh, Palermo 这个区呢，主要在这里分成几个小区块。Uh, 现在我们在的这个呢，就是要讲的第一个区块，就是 Palermo Chica， 又叫 Small Palermo。Uh, 那这一边的话呢，呃、uh, ，就是有一些。商家，也就是我们在的这个区块。那第二个区块呢，叫做 Palermo Park， 也就是说会有公园，并且会有人工做的溪谷，还有花园。那因为有这样子呃的一些景致，所以说这边的人周末就会到 Palermo Park 这个区域去度假，或者是洗脚那边。So at your right, in the next corner, you are going to see the Malva M A L B A. Malva Museum, there are Latin American Museum at your right. Uh, 右手方呢有一个拉丁美洲的文化相关展览的博物馆，它的名字叫做 Malva。啊、uh, ，那我们现在在在的这个街道呢，大家就可以感觉到我们今天整个行程哦，就是在城市的北部跟南部。那大家可以发现，北部跟南南南部的建筑风格其实不太一样，也呈现了高级呃社会。Several houses that belong the militars, the policemen, and the city hall at your right, and then the gardens, parks. We copy from this Central Park of New York the style of this garden, these parks, with different uh, areas, a very large area. Japanese garden. Then we continue with the other continue that ahead, and then. Up your left side, at your right, the Friends Club from the City Hall. And me, uh, me uh, uh, 参考了很多纽约中央公园的这个风格。那右手边呢，也有市政厅以及一些呃官方的官邸。那左手边也是非常美的公园。Several statues riding horses that they were people that over one province, one area in Argentina, Mr. Urquiza. Old Kisa, that was his this military that is him. Three artificial lakes, lagoons, and then the people resting over the grass is a place, beautiful place for families. In front of us. We are going to see like this monumental British tower that you saw in Retiro district in front of the railway station. It was a present that we received from a Spanish, the Spanish community in front of us. Okay. And so that is in front, you can see this building, this statue, with the four, uh, this monument with the four statues. He, he That, that kind of buildings uh, we receive, that kind of monuments, 
for a, a person to Buenos Aires after 100 years of our revolution in 19. 那这个纪念碑呢就是一八一零年革命成功一百年之后Look at this avenue, very, very wide, 12 lines. It is the same that we took at the beginning, remember? And so, in the next block and over your left side we are going to see now crossing this Eucorea这个街区 高级社会的人士呢，他们直接把欧洲风格的建筑拷贝过来。那比如说会有一些像宫殿一样的地方，里头甚至有到五十个房间。那这些呢，都是呃上流社会的人，他们请了国际级的有名的建筑师来建造。
年周末呢，或者是纪念日，这边就会买非常多的手工制呃手工制品的摊贩。那我们等一下要去的地方呢，有非常多的呃博物馆或者是文化中心，那国也有国国家国家博物馆，国家博物馆的入场费是免费的。They are more than just close to hundred years. They are rubber trees and magnolias. Two hundred years at your left side. Look at the roots. 呃，左手边的。Alvear is a very famous family that the owners of this palace that we saw before. But everybody calls Carlos Maria, but his real name he saw where Carlos Antonio Jose Augusto Gavino del Angel de la Guarda Danita Sugandanto. Now we are going to the palace. 就会到一个非常有名的那种地摊贴的墓地。其实我们要去的这个墓呢，它是一个公墓，不过这个土地的持有权是政府所持有的。那这个墓地之所以有名呢，是因为这个墓地周围的雕像，呃，背后的文化故事，还有呃，墓地的风格。这个墓地的风格呢，其实跟呃，美国的新奥尔良区域，还有意大利的区域的墓地风格非常的相像。We are going to we are going to make a trip 300 meters till reaching to the Vita's grave. But it's a very big cemetery. So please, we are going to walk together because normally happen that is is like a labyrinth. The street and aisles has a name. And you can disappear between the mausoleums. So you must be careful and follow us all together. Some people stay three days looking at eyes with 33 years old, with cancer utero, and the chi uh, died in Buenos Aires. 14 days was her funeral, and she, they put her body, a, a very famous professional in medicine, he changed her body and covered like a, an Egyptian mummy. So, trying to uh, to be a permanent style of uh, of her body. So that's the story that tell about that. When
就是各位先生、男性们，呃，你们要当心了，因为我们下一个目的地呢是一个商业购物区。那这边呢，可能就是各位先生、男士荷包失血的时候。那不过呢，同时，呃，可能也是你们让你们的枕边人非常开心的一个好机会。那这边呢，呃，我们要去的这个购物商业区呢，东西不贵，并且会有一些非常美的饰品啊，也有一些古董等等的。With the stores. This is Santa Fe Street. 我们现在所在的这个街道呢，叫做 Santa Fe Street。那我们刚刚提的主要的购物的街道呢，叫做 Santa Fe Street. And they restored, keeping this style. And when you go for buying one book, you can stay. 我们右边呢，通过的就是一个非常有名又美丽的书店，叫做 a t i n e o 它它就是一个呃书店图书馆。那二十呃，还有一些历史，然后并且呢，后来有重建的书，然后泡在这边一整天。When s i d e s city kept a lot, kept a k e p a lot of places. Which is t o r t o l i Cafe is one of them. Was built in 1858. That kind of cafe, like Cafe de la Paix, Paris. We copy everything from Europe. That is the idea in Buenos Aires. You can find, you can stay in Buenos Aires a month. 那布宜诺斯艾利斯呢，其实有非常多很棒的咖啡店。那其中有一家呢，虽然离我们这边距离很远，但是呢，也是坐落在一个非常有历史意义的景点的地方。这个咖啡店叫做 t o r t o n i Cafe。那这样子咖，这样子一个咖啡店的建筑风格呢，它可以坐在里这呃去这边消费，坐在里边就可以感受到许多的这种巴黎风情啊，或者也融合了马德里还有意大利的风格。那其实布宜诺斯艾利斯里面呢有非常多这样子的咖啡厅。总的来说呢，布宜诺斯艾利斯就是把很多的欧洲风格搬过来到这里，然后这边人的生活方式呢也跟欧洲人非常的相像，就是去咖啡厅里边，然后花两个两三个小时坐在里边喝咖啡聊是非。At your right, in the corner. At your left, in the next corner. So we have a bakery, a lot of bars and cafes. At 5:45 in this meeting point, because after this, after this place, we are going to have dinner. Enjoy this. Coming back to the to the bus must be at 5:35. 
。頭先睇就圓形，而家睇係個單形。If you are a vegetarian, 的菜色，开胃菜呢，我们有地中海沙拉，然后里面有黑橄榄、胡椒等，以及烤 cheese 等等。主菜呢，我主菜呢，我们会有沙朗牛排配上马铃薯，那也有饭后的甜点，会是当地传统的甜点，配上一些焦糖酱。那呃。我们这一次的晚餐呢，饮料是含在里面的，可以有咖啡、茶。如果说各位不想要牛奶装，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯，嗯今天早上有去过的五月广场哈，现在也因为啊抗议的关系以及呃一些交通的部分，所以说有一段路关闭，然后我们必须要绕一点路走。那在这样子的抗议进行之前呢，抗议人士都会事先公告说什么时候要进行什么样主题的抗议，然后会先告知大家，并且也做一些自己诉求的宣传。So here we are now in this part that is a historical point at your right, the big house, and we go to San Telmo neighborhood. Trespassing this part, we will reach to San Telmo neighborhood, close the place that we go. In this place, if not, we are so very related. <laughs> Nobody, there are no security in this place. Don't worry. 那我们现在就是要想办法杀出一条路，然后抵达我们的目的地，也就是圣提莫区 s e l t e s e l t e m o 区。呃，那现在的话呢，我们发誓非常的好，我们现在找。So here we are close the the place now. <laughs> 
十分钟左右就会回到我们的和平船。那现在呢，啊 ，Sarah 要去跟大家收取我们身上这个十二号车的标章，再麻烦您把它从您的衣服上取下来，然后交给我们的 Sarah。那并且呢，同时再会呃发问卷给各位，请各位填好之后呢，啊，再拨空拿去和平船五楼的服务台，谢谢。Well, here we are now, just coming back to the pier that is in the northeast. We are in the southeast, and so that uh, I know that you say that you enjoy too much, and I see mine in your brain. So that is the best option for living. And thank you all, and the best regards. And all, of course, God bless you. Thank you so much. In the name of our driver, he can now talk to Thank you. So it was really appreciated. Come back soon. Here is your house. Thank you. Ah, today is St. Valentine, the lover's day. 我们现在呢，我们人在这个呃城市的东南方，我们的港口在东北方，所以我们大概在十五二十分钟就要回到船上。那呃，我们也知道大家一定非常享受今晚的表演。那我们今晚的和平船就要起航离开这个城市了。所以呢，呃，虽然只是短短的一天，但是希望大家可以持续的旅行，因为旅行呢，就是对我们的灵魂最好的投资，也是对我们的心。心灵最好的滋养，把这样子美好的回忆存放在我们的脑袋里面，持续的旅行，即使离开，但是这样子的美好会永远的留在我们心上，永不磨灭。啊、呃，今天呢，非常的谢谢大家跟着导游 Patricia 这样一整天，那 Patricia 想要对大家感谢，并且表示深深的荣幸，以及对各位至上非常崇高的敬意，非常谢谢大家度过这美好的一天。那同时呢，也要谢谢我们的司机。大比，呃，他现在不方便跟各位质疑，因为他要专心的带我们安全回到我们的船上。那请大家给一个热烈掌声，谢谢我们的导游 Patricia， 还有我们的司机大比，当然还有我们的 Sarah。另外的今天是晴。So it's the moment for him for looking his destiny and living this thing with young people that he was involved before. So that's the reason that is very sad music, very tragedy between the friends and between a man with a man with a woman. He cried for a woman, the potatoes. So because when he cried, because he is worried. He's engaged with a woman, Argentinian, Argentinian woman. The Argentinian woman work too much, so he start crying because this Argentinian woman went out before. He's looking for her. Look at that, your left and that your right, over your left side and over your right. The lights. It's Thursday night. It's not Saturday night. And we have several points that the shiny night, the shiny evening that finish at 1 to 11 during the week and at 7 a.m. during the weekend.
呃，品味有出戏。那这是一首探戈的音乐，并且有非常动人的歌词。这个呃，电影呢，以及歌，寓意主要是在表示说人与人之间的别离，以及呃，这个电影的主角呢，因为工作，然后。其他生活中无奈的因素，不得不跟期待的人分开。那刚刚啊、哦，我们的车子按了一下啊、哦，主要就是为了让大家欣赏一下左右两旁的街道。今天虽然是星期四，但是街上呢已经有五光十色的这些灯光。那我们现在在这在的这个区域呢，也是早上看过的方尖碑。但是他们的我说宜宜兰的啦。哦、oh, ，OK 啊，在家乐福。但是他们母公司是在瑞典，你没有去过。<笑>